A shooter lines up at center ice. The puck is on the face-off dot. You know it's about to go down. A shootout. And like Patrick Kane's court hearing, it's very dramatic. Whether it's a mid-game penalty shot or an overtime shootout, nothing has ever meant more to you than this moment right here. Did your dad drive you to 5 a.m. practices just so you could see him fail in front of the whole world? No, because he made you walk. Hello, all time students. My name is Deontay Graham. In a normal game, breakaways occur naturally and are often very exciting. For the shooter, it's his chance to live out his childhood fantasy of being a star. Because of this, he has developed a questionable emotional attachment to Pavel Datsuk, and he has also been annoying goaltenders for years, being that guy who would deke his balls off during warm-ups instead of shooting the damn puck. If you ask me, he was given too much attention as a child. And for the goaltender, it's his chance to ruin this guy's life. And since I'm the only person who can teach you how to do it, here's how to stop a breakaway. Now I could go on about form, technique, angles, but I'm not a real expert, so I won't. The key here is to watch this fucker and smell for weaknesses before the puck is shot. And today, I'm going to break down the four kinds of weaknesses to look for so that you can stop this guy and get loads of pussy. Isn't that why you started hockey? For the pussy? I know who you are. I feel you. Prospect number one, head down Harry. This guy is the weakest of the bunch. He is so afraid of mishandling the puck, he is staring down at his toes as if they can tell him why he's never had sex. If he was a body part, he would be the gooch. In essence, he is a human gooch. To stop this guy, just quietly skate forward and crash into him like the giant unemployed bowling ball you are. Prospect number two, Danglin Dan. Danglin Dan is the most annoying person you'll ever meet. From your perspective, he could be one of the elite few that know how to stick handle around a goaltender. But more than likely, he's just an overambitious spaz tweaking out in front of you on the basis that goaltenders are afraid of sudden movements. If he's option number one, you're fucked. If he's option number two, simply poke check in his direction. The sight of your stick will be enough to shock him into a state of fear, and he will let go of the puck. Prospect number three, premature Peter. This is the guy who skates in, poorly fakes a deke, and then shoots it right into your chest. What were you going for here, bro? Do you think we're not looking at you? You're the only guy on the ice. The only option here for the goalies is to sit there, take the puck, and leave with an easy victory. Prospect number four, Creative Chris. This is the guy who skates in, throws his glove in one direction, and then shoots it the other direction. I assume you think most goaltenders read at a third grade level. We don't. I do but most goalies don't. The only option here for the goalies is to stand there and go, all right, really asshole? If you teach yourself how to handle these shootout defenders, you will soon become an indestructible force and you'll frighten everyone you come in contact with, as if you weren't already frightening enough. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, new comedy videos every week. Click here to watch last week's episode. Click here to watch another one of my sketches. See you next week, bitches. Bye.